What's going on guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Inside of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly why I bash other traffic methods. Now, before we get started with that, as you can see on screen, you see this box here, it says watch time from subscribers. So as the increase, or as we've seen an increase in watch time, which is fantastic, we've got a higher percentage of people who are watching videos but not subscribing. So we've got subscribed out of everyone who's watching 39.4%, 60.9% uh, not subscribed. So if you're seeing, the subscribe button on your screen, which you will do because this isn't the first time you've been on YouTube, then smash that subscribe button for us so that you can get precisely notified when I'm dropping new videos onto the channel, right? It helps me uh, and it helps you out. Do that for me now. Right, so why do I bash other traffic methods? Now, the reason I'm asking this or the reason I'm saying this is because I'm not stupid, right? I know what I do. I know what I do inside of my business, the DM Academy. I know how I help affiliates and I know a lot of what we're all about is the mission of ensuring that affiliates aren't focusing their attention when they're beginning, when they're struggling or even ongoing from that point with all the typical methods that have been proclaimed as like the best things for people to be doing since day dot, right? So we're talking about creating content or ads, doing funnels or creating funnels, like the technical aspects of that and then building email lists. Now you look at like that and you think like, hang about James, like, this is a piece of content for you, James. Like you probably are on an email list of mine. Like you probably have been for a funnel. Like if you look at that as a basic point of view, as a, at a surface level, and you go hang about, like you're doing this, but you're do you're saying this. It's like you're missing the point entirely, right? You're completely missing the point. And what you're trying to do here is you're trying to create a parallel from where you're at potentially and where I'm at in business, right? No ego with this. Let's just be factual, right? I'm at a much different level of business than most people in this in this space, right? If you think of that as big headed or whatever, like again, you are missing the point because this is all about the substance of what I'm trying to say, right? When I first started online, right? I started doing everything that everyone told me to do. I started cr creating content. I started literally trying to work out how to create a funnel in the right way. I did like multiple, 10s, 20, 30 different types of funnels, right? I didn't have any traffic flowing for it because I was crap at like creating content. Building an email list, like I was trying to build an email list. I was trying the technical aspects of attaching a funnel up to an email list. And the problems I had with all of these things is that we're in the make money online space, right? So we're in the make money online space. So the outcome that has to be achieved is making money online, right? And I'm here creating content, building funnels, building an email list, att attempting to essentially like fake it till they make it inside of content, inside of funnels, inside of emails. And that is wrong. That is unethical and that is immoral. It's just that most people, like I say 99.9% .9 of people, unless they've been unplugged by myself and the rest of my affiliates inside of the DM Academy, are literally taught to walk this one specific path of hey, you've got to get out there on social media platforms and start creating content. And you start creating content because you're trying to educate people on how to make money online, even though you haven't achieved the outcome of making money online yourself. So how these people then try and counter that or how these so-called gurus attempt to for people to counter that is that they look at like other businesses that like for me, like I've got story, right? I've got a story behind what I do. Like I lost my job in 2019. Like I was literally like no income coming in. And then from there, I've built out a multiple six figure business by literally doing the opposite of everyone else online, right? When you first start online in the make money online space, you don't have a story. Yeah, you could say like, yeah, you've got a story up until that point. Guess what? The vast majority of people's stories are actually not that interesting, right? And the vast majority of people's stories up until that point are kind of like the same as everyone else's in some respect, right? So people then are looking at creating content, trying to educate people on making money online. Then they have to share elements about their private life, brand themselves in a particular way, and assume to people that they're doing better than they actually are. And like that's literally what every affiliate is pretty much taught to do, no matter what program they're going into. Like Legendary Marketer, like Stuff with Jonathan Montoya, 12 Minute Affiliate, Rapid Profit Machine, like all of those elements, if you take out who's doing the actual program, if you take out maybe their unique way of doing support, coaching, all of that kind of stuff, you take out like the specific titles for like different frameworks of like, this is my ABC content framework or, or whatever it is, right? You take out all those bits and you look at it and go like, what is actually being taught here? It's the same stuff. 
like some form of content or ads into a funnel, into emails. But remember, the most important thing, the most important bit of substance here is that those methods are very much like listen to me methods. They're very much methods that aren't meant for beginners or struggling affiliate marketers in the make money online space, particularly for the fact that that person hasn't achieved money online. They haven't achieved the level of confidence and the experience to actually know what they've got to be doing in content to actually not have to assume to people that you're making money online like and do it actually properly without having to share your private life. Because for me, it's like, yeah, you... I guess you could like literally document every little thing that you're doing. But again, for me, it's like if I'm coming into a business in any niche, for me, what's most important is that I achieve the outcome in the most efficient way possible. I'm not using the term quickest. I'm using the term efficient because the audience of making money online wants to also achieve money in the most efficient way, right? They don't. And like, if people actually said this transparently, then they'd probably sell a lot less, right? Different things, right? But if they said like, look, you're gonna actually just document your journey or you're gonna start creating content, you're gonna build your own funnel, you're gonna start building your own list. And hey, it's gonna probably take around about 12 to 18 months to do that. Like, and that was like legitimate, like that people were like, look, it's gonna take you 12 to 18 months just to get any traction at all. Like people probably wouldn't purchase as much with those things because it's like, wow, like that's actually not the most efficient way for people to make money. Because when you think about it, right, I could sell a few things in this room on eBay and I can make money technically online very quickly, right? If I didn't have my own business, right? So like when people are then taught to look at like and exposed to like hang about, I can actually make money pretty quickly. And then they come online and they're around tens, hundreds and thousands of other people who are literally doing the same stuff. Like people who also haven't achieved money online, really, who are creating very similar funnels, saying very similar things in email, uh, in emails, putting out very similar pieces of content because you're only really like you're limited by your experience. Right. So if you haven't made money online, you actually don't really know how to make money online. Yeah, you can talk about things that you've heard, but like anyone can talk about things that they've heard. Like we're talking about things being sincere and like we're not in the day and age where it's like this whole make money online thing is brand new to people. Like in actual fact, we're in a place online right now where people actually think like, I actually don't believe you. Like people are lacking sincerity because all of this stuff's going on all the time. We've got people who are not making any money online branding themselves as, hey, I help people gain financial freedom. Like, no, you don't because you haven't achieved financial freedom yourself. But these are all the things that are like the issues with people going into these types of like content, into ads or funnels, into like emails, like all of that stuff. Like, is the issue, right? It's people with two big egos, like going like, hang about, like, no, I'm going to brand myself as the guru, as the expert, as the teacher, as the educator. I'm going to start now creating content. Joined this program yesterday. I'm going to now start creating content to get people into my program. Even though I haven't made money online yet, I'm just going to try and educate people on it. But I'm going to just, and I'm going to word it in a way where it assumes to people that I know what the hell I'm talking about. Like, that is faking it till you make it. I'm sorry. That is what that is. That ain't bravery. That ain't courage. That ain't stepping out of your comfort zone. That's actually doing something that's unethical. Because then what happens is you're attempting to bring people in to that world where it becomes even more saturated and congested and competitive by more people being in it. Like, you just got to have common sense. So when I'm talking about bashing other methods, I'm not bashing the method of creating content because I'm creating content right now. I'm not bashing building an email list because I've got an email list. I'm bashing the, the time that people do it. At what point in the timeline do people focus on that stuff? Because the stuff I'm doing now, creating content here, the stuff I do with emails and the stuff I do obviously like on other platforms and my DMs, all of that stuff is rooted around for my affiliates. So rooted for my affiliates leads as well as my leads. So I create all of the content for my leads and my affiliates leads, right? So they don't have to. The emails, they're all for my affiliates leads and my leads, right? Because I'm at a different stage of business. So for me, my business is actually taking a lot of the weight off of running a business when people are first starting away from people, right? Actually, at whatever point they are in business, we've got a really efficient way of doing it, right? So people don't need to put major focus into branding or like have that, bit where they're like kind of 
assuming to people they're making money when they're not or saying stuff that they haven't actually achieved. Like, hey, I help people generate $10,000 in the first 30 days of business when they haven't achieved like a dime themselves. It's not ethical. That's not the right way of doing stuff. So they don't have to do that. They don't have to do ads. They don't have to build funnels. They don't have to do emails. What they do have to do is the most efficient way of speaking to people, which is direct one-on-one in DMs. And like, if you have like a blinkered view of what DMs is all about, you just haven't experienced it enough. Like, I urge you, have 20,000 conversations in DMs and show me your bank balance. If you knew what you were doing inside of DMs, you'd have way more, way more in your bank account just through doing DMs. But the vast majority of people don't have that because one, they don't know what they're talking about inside of DMs. Secondly, the people who are teaching them, actually, it's often a very small part of what they're trying to pitch, which is like content. They actually steer people away from cold DMs. Again, don't know why, just crazy, probably because it would contradict everything that they've been going through for the past like three, four, five years, however long they've been in business. But like speaking to people one-on-one is so much more powerful than trying to attract people through content for a beginner struggling affiliate who hasn't made money online. Like, yeah, you'll probably get some engagement, comments and likes. Guess what? The vast majority of those people who are giving you that engagement are either people exactly at your level who are in different programs who are trying to prospect to you or people who are way ahead of you who are just trying to give you encouragement because deep down they want to prospect to you over time. Like that for me is the level of insincerity that is on social platforms doing content. Like that ain't cool. Like because that gives you a full sense of security that you're actually doing better than you are because you're not because of the tens, hundreds of thousands of other people doing the same thing. Like, be very clear, like, with what I'm saying. I'm talking about the make money online space for affiliates who haven't generated any cash or just generated some cash, but not consistently, and they're struggling. Whether it's like they're struggling two weeks in or they're struggling like three years in, whatever it is, those people should not be focusing any attention on any of these one-to-many traffic methods, content, ads, funnels, emails. It's not necessary for people to generate cash. And ultimately, we forget that is the outcome. You're in this space to generate cash. So you can pull the wall over your own eyes and you can let other people pull the wall over your eyes by saying, look, you've got to trust the process and, you know, you just got to stick it out, stick it out, stick it out. That's a cop out as far as I'm concerned, right? There is a more efficient way of making money. Like, and we do it through the DM Academy. Like my affiliates and myself, literally, We have DM conversations through following my framework. The reason I'm saying a framework here is because I've actually created this framework, not online. I created this framework in a call center. I used to run call centers for a living, cold calling call centers. Like this is a framework that I used to use with millions of customers, like over since I was 18 through to like 30 odd, like or even uh, older than that. Like that framework, I then transferred into DMs made multiple six figures with it, and now my affiliates are rocking it out too, right? So they turn strangers into leads, right, through that framework. And guess what? Once again, I want to get involved with like every person's leads, right? Because I know I've got the experience and the results and the assets and everything like that to turn people into sales, right, from leads. So I actually take care of that part of the process for my affiliates. So my affiliates don't need to put major focus into branding. Don't put major focus into content, ads, funnels, email lists. They fo- put the focus into one-on-one communication through DMs, through mastering my framework, and that is all, to turn people into leads. And then I follow up with those leads to turn them into sales for my affiliate and for the business, right? At a certain point where they're at a level of confidence, where they're generating consistent numbers, then yes, if they wanted to, only if they wanted to, they could then start adding some of these other methods like creating content as an addition, doing their own funnel, building lists. Because at that point, they have so much more knowledge and experience and confidence about doing all of those elements. And they won't just be stuck there going like, hey, what the hell do I write about? I feel like a fraud. I feel like an imposter. They ain't feeling that because they're generating cash. They understand how to generate cash. They understand how the process works. And they understand why every other method is not right for affiliates at the beginning part of their journey to be focusing on that stuff. That's the reality. And like the, the, the challenge for what we do in the DM Academy is like, we're resisting years and years and years of advice that at one point that advice of doing content funnels like was great because the marketplace was smaller. 
and all of these things were new. Like we're in a very different place right now. Congestion, saturation, competitiveness is at an all time high. And I don't care about anything anyone says. For me, this is about people actually making money, right? Without the cop out of saying, hey, you just got to keep trusting the process. You got to keep doing it, got to keep doing it. That's a cop out. Like, I'm sorry, that is a cop out. Hey, if I was, I've run call centers for a living, right? If I was doing a call center, and we hadn't made a sale for seven months, I'd probably sack it in because I knew there was, I would know there's something wrong in that process. Like that's the reality. And some people are like far away from reality. They think, hey, I'm gonna get that first out in like a year's time and then it's just gonna snowball from there. No, that's not what you signed up for. Be honest with yourself, that ain't what you signed up for. And do you really want other people going through that process? Because people come into this space because they've got circumstances that they wanna change in their life. Genuine circumstances want to change in their life. Hey, but you know it's going to take them months and months, if not years, to even get any bit of traction. You are not serving people to the highest level if you're bringing them into those things. At a later point in their journey, 100%. But the beginner, struggling affiliate marketer, it is all about them generating cash in the most efficient way possible to build up that confidence. And there is nothing better than what we do in the DM Academy for that. Hey, just check out Carla. Go to my Facebook profile, check out Carla. She made two sales in the first seven days. Like high ticket sales in the first seven days of being inside of the DM Academy. Can you do that too? Sure you can. In the description below, guys, there's gonna be a, a link for my DM Academy brochure 2024. It's gonna give you all the information that you need, right? All the information. Um, you'll have information on a virtual walkthrough of the actual academy. You'll see results, fraction of results from my affiliates. You'll see the award I send people once they've reached 10K. You'll have FAQs, you'll see more videos, and you'll have uh, payment plan options as well as one-time payment to get involved. Look, it's not that I'm bashing other methods because I don't think content's good and I don't think doing a funnel's good or emails are good. It's very specific why I bash other methods. I'm bashing people doing other methods at the wrong time, all right? And I don't care if that's the tried and tested thing that people say that everyone's got to do. I don't care if it's common knowledge. Like, I'm fighting that. Like that is a load of resistance that I'm willing to put a lot of fight into because I believe it's right in what we do. And I can back that up with the results we get for people in the academy, the better quality of life that they're feeling because they're feeling less about like, oh, I've got strong, I'm struggling with content, I'm struggling with this. I don't know how to get more people to open up my emails because my inbox deliverability is poor. All of the stuff that I like, in actual fact, these are skill sets in themselves and a lot of programs and products and support uh, isn't clued on to being able to help people to that level. So those are the reasons why I bash those methods. I hope that's really clear. It's not that I'm bashing them for the sake of bashing them. I'm bashing them because they're not right for people to be doing to begin with. But this is completely right for people to be generating cash as efficiently as possible for them as well as the audience that they're gonna be attracting into that world. Smash the um, subscribe button, hit a like, drop a comment, go to the description and you'll see a link where you go to my DM Academy brochure 2024. Um, you'll also be able to reach out to me in Messenger in there if you've got any questions. But if not, get yourself enrolled and uh, love to see you inside of the Academy and fight in the mission of what we're doing inside of the program. All right, you take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.